Hey everyone, let's take a look at our next multiple choice question. So we have a local real estate magazine used the median instead of the mean when it reported the SAT score of the average student who attends Groveland High School. All right, so before I even read more, I'm going to say, I'm going to just take note, they use the median instead of the mean. All right, so they're quoting a measure of center, but they went with the median. And before I even read the rest, in my head I'm thinking, well, what do I know about medians? I know they're resistant statistics. Uh, I know that they're the middle data, right? The middle data value, and they are a measure of center. So those are just things I'm gonna, I'm gonna write here that for medians, this is a resistant stat, meaning it's resistant to outliers, not affected by outliers. Let me write median here. Um, it's a measure of center, and it is quite literally the middle number, or if you had an evil, even number of observations, it's the average of the two middle numbers. All right, so a graphical display of SAT scores who went to Groveland High School indicated that the data were strongly skewed to the right. Okay, we do have a graph that's strongly skewed, and when graphs skew, the mean gets affected. All right, the median resists it, which is probably why they're gonna quote the median instead of the mean. Which of the following explains why, in this situation, the median is a more accurate indicator? Okay, well, it's because if, if a graph is skewing right, and imagine if we had SAT scores here, I'm just going to make a fake graph, but let's say it skews right, that the average student, I don't even remember what they're out of. I think it's 1,600. Let's say the average student gets 1,000, but we have a couple folks up here at like 1,500. Someone's up here at 1,600. I, I, I don't know what the actual distribution looks like. I'm, I'm definitely making those up. But the median will stay pretty much with the peak, and then the mean gets skewed to the right. It literally becomes greater than the median because it gets affected by those high outliers. So this would be my X bar here, that would be my sample mean, and over here would be my median. And actually, if, if I wanted to brag, I would report the mean in this case, because the mean's gonna be the larger number, but this magazine was, it was calling it like it should, it actually reported the median. So all right, why do we pick the median over the mean? Let's look at our options. The mean is affected by the skewness where the median is not, that is true. All right, let's look at, Part B, the median is always the preferred statistic. It's not true, That that's not always. I think anytime I see the word always, I get suspicious. The mean will be less than the median when the data are strongly skewed to the right. That That's false. So the mean is actually greater than the median when you skew right. It's less than the median when you skew left. Um, the mean should only be used when the data are strongly skewed to the left. That That's false also. If it's strongly skewed left, then you should use the median again. All right, so as I look through this, A is my answer. All right, thanks so much, Zach. I meant to say this is a chapter two problem. All right, now I'm going to get out of here.